The popularity of a car depends on various factors, which for example include the build quality and reliability of the car. A car needs to be fun to drive, the interior of the car needs to be a comfortable place to be in. Fuel economy and mileage are also very important when deciding which car you go for. Whatever might be the reason, the popularity of the car is generally determined by the number of units sold. In today's video, we will be showing you some top most driven cars. Without further ado, let's begin. Ford Shelby Mustang GT350-500 These beefed up versions of the standard Ford Mustang emerged in 1965 as essentially street legal racing cars with the aid of Carroll Shelby himself. Over the course of production, they eventually were moved to in-house production directly by Ford. What started out as an attempt to create a unique performance vehicle with some modifications from the standard car has resulted in generations of a true American icon, as exemplified by the coveted Eleanor in the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. Heavier, more brutal, and yet more refined in character, the current 2012 top-of-the-line version, the Super Snake, boasts a face-ripping 800 horsepower, up from the original 289 horsepower in 1965. Citroën DS You might consider it a dowdy European taxi of sorts, but the Citroën DS gave its driver instant class and sophistication combined with technology and utility. The wonder was introduced in the 50s and went on to see 20 years of production. Possessing the world's first front disc brakes in a production car, along with self-leveling suspension and self-leveling directional headlights, it was truly revolutionary. If you've seen it in person, you know how well it has stood the test of time, and this is one case where being French is truly a very good thing. 1969 Mercedes-Benz 280 SL Roadster Elegantly simple and achingly beautiful, the 280 SL Roadster had a smooth inline-six engine with either a 4-speed manual, 4-speed automatic, or a wonderful ZF 5-speed manual. With an upgraded M130 170 horsepower engine, the car had enough kick to be quick, but not surprisingly so. American models were upgraded with fancy imperial gauges and chrome bumper guards and essentially transitioned the car from sports convertible to luxury grand tour. It clearly exudes wealth and sophistication from the driver's seat, and the car found huge success with nearly 20,000 versions sold in America. It's a beautiful example of what a roadster should look like, no matter what generation it's from. Acura Legend The Legend was the first Japanese sedan to move into the luxury sedan market that was dominated by the Germans in the late 1980s and 1990s. Long, smooth, and utterly reliable, it was the first flagship released under the Acura luxury brand, and everyone, including the Germans, took notice. With a butter-smooth V6 that could kick 60 in under 8 seconds, a low-curve weight, responsive throttle, expanses of fine leather, and a ride to rival Mercedes and BMW, the legend became just that. The leaders in the luxury car segment started making their own changes as a result. It still sells as the legend outside of the States and sadly goes under the boring Acura RL name here. Land Rover Defender the SUV for the ages, the Land Rover Defender is the benchmark for a capable SUV. Low-tech and all the more glorious for it, the Defender conquers rocks, mud, and snow where others fear to tread. Carried over from the Land Rover Series 1, 2, and 3, the Defender 110 and 90, indicating wheelbase lengths, modernized the original by adding an upgraded interior, beefed up and more compliant suspension, and more powerful engines. Productions in the U.S. sadly ended in the 1990s, but used models are still much coveted. Let's hope for a new version within the next year or two. Please carry over the jump seats. Ferrari 250 GTO If you can have one of these, you're pretty damn special and phenomenally wealthy. It was only produced for a few years in the 1960s for GT racing and road-going models for homologation. The 250 GT SWB was the springboard for the iconic GTO, which is not a bad place to start. With its 3.0-liter V12 engine, characteristic hood, front fender and rear fender vents, the GTO was both purposeful and gorgeous. 
It is considered one of Ferrari's most beautiful designs, though it was never penned by any one person. The last one sold for nearly $20 million. Lamborghini Miura The opposite of the sharp and angular Countach, the Miura was all sex appeal and smooth lines. Widely regarded as one of the most beautiful automotive designs of all time, the Miura was built chassis and engine first and then covered in a svelte, burtone design. The monster mid-engine V12 and the two-seater setup essentially created the impetus behind the modern supercar. Only 764 were built between 1966 and 1972. It was recently duplicated in modern concept form in 2006, but the original stands as the true supercar classic. Gotta love the eyelash headlights. Bugatti Veyron EB 16.4 the new and thousands of hours of research and development went into this pinnacle of supercardom. Released in 2005, the 8-liter W16 quad-turbo 1001 horsepower engine launched the original to a top speed of 253 miles per hour, setting a new record for a road-going production car. If you mash the throttle to the maximum speed, a full tank of gas will be drained in 13 minutes. Crikey! Subsequent notified versions were even more powerful. The Super Sport, the Super Sport topping out at 268 miles per hour, to be specific. Regardless of the version, the Volkswagen Group that brought this car to the world did right by it and gave us unparalleled refinement in a sports car along with unsurpassed performance. It is over the top, overpriced, and utterly desirable. Ferrari Enzo. No ultimate Ferrari list would be complete without the revolutionary Enzo, built from 2002 to 2004. Named after the founder of the Marquis, the Enzo brought true Formula One technology to the masses, the 399 people who constitute the limited ownership, that is, via a carbon fiber body, carbon ceramic bricks, hyperquick F1 transmission, and a 6.0 liter V12 engine. It could hit 60 in just over three seconds and top out at 220 miles per hour. Sure, most recent Ferraris can outperform this track machine, but the Enzo bled red exclusively, and power never seen before in a vehicle from the Cavallino Rampante. Its even more insane brother, the FXX, was reserved for the track only and came with its own technical team. We want Lamborghini LM002 Born out of a desire to create a military vehicle in the late 80s, Lamborghini created the blocky and insane LM002 that was essentially the biggest departure the Italian automaker has ever made, hands down. With a huge V12, custom run-flat Pirelli Scorpion tires and a 76-gallon fuel tank, the beast could do 120 miles in the sand and ended up being the SUV of choice for Saudi oil tycoons. It could even be optioned out with a monstrous 7.2-liter powerboat engine, if so desired, yes. The military version never saw the light of day, but that didn't prevent the LM002 from making its mark as the first real exotic 4x4. We want one. Without the fuel bill, of course. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video.